Why do you criticize people? Why do you talk negatively about people? At worst, why do you think you've got the right to talk negatively about other people? It's because you and I actually think we're better than them. This, this is how sick the human heart is. We actually, you and I actually feel better about ourselves when we can talk about the flaws and failures of another person. And you can always find someone sicker than you. And sometimes we actually get together and feel good and we actually bond by talking about someone else negatively. And you might say, I'm not talking, I'm just telling the truth. Well, really? What are you supposed to do with it? Maybe it is true, but Ephesians 4.30 says, don't let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouth, but only that which is beneficial for the building up of others. Well, what am I supposed to do with all this truth that I know about this person? Try prayer. And I'm not saying you should never have the conversations where, where people are hurting each other, but, but, but a lot of times we just, we, don't we in arguments? And that's the other thing we do. We, we, we kind of, someone brings something up. Someone loves you enough to bring something up in your life, or maybe they don't love you, but they bring up an inconsistency somewhere where you're hypocritical, somewhere there's a flaw in your life. And what do you do? You say, you do the same thing. You're no better than me. Why do you say that? Because you don't want to face the truth and you want to put them down so that they shut up. You actually think you're better than them. Isn't that irrelevant? I mean, if after the sermon, if Pastor Mark listens to this message and says, Ken, it was a good message, but you preached too long. And I said, Mark, you do the same thing. Does that let you out any earlier? No, it doesn't. It's irrelevant. And not only do we say you do the same thing, we try to one down you. Someone accuses you of something. Don't you try to accuse them of something even worse? Oh, you think that's bad? Well, what about you, you hypocrite? Oh, yeah, well, what about 13 years ago you did that? Oh, yeah, 15 years ago here. That's how we argue, isn't it? We do that in marriage. We do that in relationships. We do that in churches. Because we think we're better than other people. That's what the Jews were doing. And Jesus in his love was trying to point out hypocrisy in their hearts. And what did they do? They tried to accuse Jesus in technical and get him and show that he was worse off than them. Can you just imagine the difference in the New Testament, how we would read it differently if the Jews at that point said, wait a minute, wait a minute, let's go and ask Yahweh, God Almighty, is there any truth in what this prophet is saying? Is there any truth? And they could have repented, they could have softened their hearts, and they could have repented. Can you imagine the difference in your lives and in your relationships if when you were accused and someone brought up the flaw in your heart, rather than defending yourself, rather than attacking their character, you would stop and say, God, is there any truth in what they're saying? Even if it's 10% truth, 20%, that'll transform your marriages, that'll transform your relationships, that'll transform your families. And you can even hear it from someone who shouldn't be accusing you. You can even hear it from someone who's accusing you with a negative motive. God, is there any truth in what you're saying? 